What's good everyone, Shot it here today and bring you guys a questionable deck profile, let's put it like that. It is Phantasm, Spiral, Dino Rabbit. The synergy with this is obviously the normal monsters for, for the dinosaurs. Work with um, the Phantasm Spiral Field spell, plus Rescue Rabbit did come back to free. I can't play it at free right now on YGO Pro 2 because they haven't updated the ban list. But you guys are probably looking at the screen now and thinking, wait, do I see 9, 10 hand traps in the side in the main deck? Uh, stick around guys, I'll explain that in a minute. So let's get into it. So we'll start off with two Phantasm Spiral Dragon. Now this card's really important. If you equip one of your normal monsters with both the equip cards, so uh, Phantasm Spiral Crash and Grip, I don't play Wave because I really don't like it. If you equip one of your normal monsters with both of these cards, then you are able to bring out two dragons at a time and it can really push forward DK. I wouldn't play free because you don't need free and drawing it is basically like um, drawing a garnet, but big deal playing two garnets in your deck, it's worth it at the end of the day if it increases your OTK potential. Plus it's not as bad as garnet because you can special summon it from your hand with the equipped cards. Next up for normal dinos, we have three copies of Mega Smasher X and three copies of Sabersaurus. Sorry guys if my voice is a bit messed up by the way, I'm having some throat issues so it's a bit, a bit hard to talk. I can still talk but it's it's not the easiest. So um, six normal dinos because uh, if you resolve one rabbit and you only play three dinos then you can't resolve the second rabbit so I thought it's good to play six. Plus you can get them off fossil dig so there's no need to play any more. I think six is enough. Next up two copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. You can play it at one. I like playing it at two because it's another extender, extending card. This deck um, uh, is less powerful than that actual True King Dino variant before the ban list of course, not right now. Because True King Dinos they're good but they're not very good any, uh, anymore. Like both of these decks I would consider equal right now because they both can pump out pretty good monsters but they lost their long and everything for True King Dinos. So I would play two, I know you can search it off Oviraptor but I still want to play two because I do want to draw it sometimes and get my Kaiju off of Oviraptor and then we are of course playing the one Kaiju just like I mentioned. Uh, next up three copies of Soul Eating Oviraptor. You guys all know how good Oviraptor is. It can get you a normal dino if you just want to combo off with your field spell. It can get you a, uh, your Kaiju to out Masterpiece because that card is still at free as I've made many jokes about and many videos about. So definitely free Oviraptor. It's just a really good card. It, it's just incredible increases consistency as well. Next up, free Rescue Rabbit. Oh my god, I have lo I love this card so much. I've been waiting for this card to come back to free. I, I always knew deep down that eventually this card would have to come back because the minute they uh, released the new Rescue support, I was like, okay, Rescue Cats coming down onto the list so it will eventually be at free. But they still need a, another good card so I thought they must be putting Rabbit to free. They definitely want us to try and play a kind of rescue deck or rescue variant with like a toolbox kind of thing. But obviously most people are just going to play Dino Rabbit. So uh, rescue Rabbit, three copies. Uh, your, main, main, your main normal summons are probably Oviraptor, Rabbit, sometimes the normal dinos to work with the field spell. And next up, here's the 10 hand traps, okay? Listen to me guys, please don't like bash me in the comment section for being an absolute uh, moron and calling this a table 500 deck or whatever you guys want to call it. So Maxi and Ash, that's fine. Olga's fine as well. So uh, that's obviously, we've got seven right there. But it's the Free Reaper. Now the Free Reaper can be questionable. But the way I see it is, True Draco was still good. True Draco will still be playable. But even though I said the Demise version isn't dead, the Invoked version is much better. As much as I hate to say it, obviously, because I really do like Demise True Draco. And I did make a video on how good the Invoked engine is before the ban list drop drops. And it turns out the Invoked engine might actually be the best engine right now for the meta. So I'm thinking everybody in their mother, as Lithium would say, um, I would, are going to be playing Mechabers, are going to be playing Raijin, so I thought Reaper's good, plus the only other good decks are going to be like Paleo, Pendulum Magician, so I've got the star time in there as well, and then ABC. So I thought, okay, it's not that much of a big deal to main deck free Reaper because most decks are going to be utilising the extra deck right now, then obviously I've got the Firewall Dragon there for Link decks. So I thought it's still a really good card, you don't pump out too many monsters with this deck, so you can meet its requirement pretty easily actually. So I would definitely keep this card out free in the main deck. If your opponent happens to be happens to be playing True Draco Demise, yes it can be dead but I'm willing to take the risk uh, to keep this in the main deck against Involved because to be honest as I said not many people are going to be playing True Draco Demise in comparison to True, True Draco Involved. Next up the free field spells of course to get to our city then free Fossil Dig. Fossil Dig is good if you draw Fossil Dig plus the uh, Pacifist then you can just activate Pacifist. Hard to pronounce that actually. Activate your Fossil Dig get one of your uh, dinos, preferably Megalos Masha X, normal summon it and then obviously you can, you can search one of your equip cards. And then we're playing for the equip cards, two crash, two grip, as I said before. 
I really don't like Wave. Wave is just, um, it's okay, but I kind of like a more offensive deck rather than defensive. Of course, I'm still playing the hand traps uh, for defense because I didn't want to play normal traps because I didn't want to rely off going first. I don't like decks that rely off going first, so I thought hand traps are really good this format. Actually, they will be really good. They were really good last format, and luckily Maxi stuck around so we could just play 10. It, looked, it just looked really nice to play. Free Ash, free Yoga, free Reaper. So yeah, I don't, I don't play any of the traps as well because um, a lot of the time you'll have another monster like a Lagia and a uh, Oviraptor or maybe an Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and the traps require you to have only normal monsters on your field therefore it's kind of counterintuitive to play like Ultimate Conductor Tyrannos and play Dino Rabbit and all that uh, if you're going to put the traps in because they can be dead a lot of the time plus hand traps are more than enough to stop your opponent I find the traps are a bit lacklustre in comparison to cards like Olga, Ash and Reaper and then finally the free Pacifis. Pacifis is amazing uh, worst case scenario you just activate this uh, then when your opponent does something you get a token and you can search one of the equips so you instantly go plus two every time your opponent does something provided you don't have another token on board because you can only uh, control one token no can you I'm pretty sure you can only control one token once per turn, yeah, add one Phantasm. If your opponent activates, you can special on one. So no, you can only special summon one per turn, that's what I mean. You can get multiple tokens onto the, onto the board, but you can only special summon one per turn. So the, 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 uh, the main deck is pretty solid in my opinion. I do, uh, definitely keep the hand traps around. If you guys don't like it, you can obviously cut it. I've got more hand traps in the side deck because uh, we're going for that invoked hate, but we'll get into that later. Next up, free Lagia, free do uh, two Dogger. Like these are the main cards you go into off your rabbit into your dinos, of course. I play free Lagia because some decks you only summon Lagia. Dogger is less. Um, use so I thought there's no need to play free plus I really wanted to make room for a lot of the um, Ash to, uh, Reaper targets to make it as effective as possible and then the other ones you summon is just Tornado Dragon, Castell, Utopia the Lightning and Utopia, Utopia the Lightning's in there in case they use their Masterpiece and then you can just normal summon a rabbit and out their Masterpiece with Lightning so I guess it's pretty good, it's good against maybe even your opponent's Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and Blue Eyes might be making a comeback or something um, so I thought why not try this one because some people do like playing Chaos Max in their Blue Eyes decks. So uh, you told, you, uh, Lightning is a universal problem solver, like there's no, if you've got space in the extra deck and you can't make rank 4s, it doesn't really make much sense to just leave it out. So that, that's it, like these are the only ones we summon, so we summon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now that the extra deck monsters are ones we actually summon, we don't go into the extra deck too much, we only go in there for Laggy and Dog, we don't really rely off it. Um, as much as decks like Zodiac and stuff, that the extra deck was like everything. Uh, next up, just for the Reaper targets, I have mentioned them before, we'll just quickly go over them. Uh, Mechaba, ABC Dragon Buster, Raijin, Star Time Magician, Totally Awesome, Firewall Dragon. Obviously gives you amazing advantage against decks that utilize these cards, because getting rid of a uh, ABC Dragon Buster against ABC, you should easily win, seriously. They're really lackluster without Dragon Buster. Dragon Buster is their power play card. Obviously, some people might be... Um, Siding part of acquisitiveness, uh, thinking that a lot of people will play Reaper, but it still um, it, it, it doesn't uh, make sense for them to draw acquisitiveness only when you draw cherries. So acquisitiveness isn't really all that against cherries, even though it can like play around it and stuff. It's still a card out of their hand, and it's still a card they have to side into their main deck. So it just causes issues for them. Plus, game one, they're not going to be main decking um, part of acquisitiveness. Really sorry about my voice guys, seriously, I really hate having a messed up throat, especially when doing videos. Uh, next up for the side deck, we play Free Denko Seca. I love this card against Paleo. Paleo might make a comeback. This is just all predicting stuff, to be honest, because we all know what decks are good right now, what decks aren't good. Like Zodiac, you can't play them. Zodiac, True Draco, but they're not the best deck anymore. Uh, Paleo can't make a return, even though Masterpiece is around. But people do like Paleo. As much as I don't like the deck, a lot of people do like it. Some people in my comment section, maybe Snowflake and Dante, I think it was you two. Both of you said you like Paleo. If I'm getting it wrong, please do correct me in the comment section. I'm pretty sure somebody has said they like paleo next up Veilers. Vela didn't make a comeback in the ocg back when invoke were good so i thought might as well put it in the side deck i had space anyways board wipes one rogeki one dark hole dark holes limited now i don't know why i don't think there was any need to do that but uh, I, uh, I kind of understand that they want to get rid of board wipes and get rid of these power cards but they could have just banned rogeki to be honest 
Next up, we play three copies of Anti-Spell Fragrant. This is against Pendulums. I've seen the power of Pendulums on Lithium channel and everybody else's channels. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 might have done something. I don't really remember that much. I've watched a few videos uh, with Free Waver and guys, they are flipping scary, seriously. We all know how good Spell Fragrance is against them. Even though they can out it more easily with Purple Poison, it's still a pain for them to get rid of it. So it's still a good card. And then finally, the Solemn Brigade. I just signed this in for maybe the Ogres and then maybe like one Reaper or the kaiju if they're not playing masterpiece uh, just uh, just if you know you're going to go first if you know you're going to go first it makes sense to play the traps because then obviously they're not as weak as they are if you were going to go second and you just main deck them hoping you would win the dice roll so that's been it for the deck profile if you guys are wondering why i did it in this format rather than the um a 4k background uh, style it's because i only do de uh, profiles like that for decks i enjoy playing and i play a lot and that are some of my favorite decks so like necros ddd speedroids they're all some of my most favorite decks and i love them decks so much so that's why i decided to do it like that so thank you guys for watching this has been sure it peace